Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for August 20th, 2023. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started now. All right, I'm seeing we have these two eights and this eight looking up. So eight is in one of these two. We also have two sixes looking in and this six looking up. So six is in one of these two. Um, what else? Sevens don't do a whole lot. Fours? So we have these fours looking in. Ah, and we have these two fours looking up. Oh, that's nice. So this becomes a four, and that also gives us the eight for the box, because this can't be eight anymore. Um, okay, what else does this do? Now I'm seeing this two look up and this two look in, so two's in one of these two. Oh, we have this two as well, so two goes there, actually. Um, I'm looking at anything else looking into this box that we haven't already placed. Um, okay, what did I place? So we get the two twos, so two goes here. We get the fours were, are done, the eights are done. Okay, so we placed the two, four, eight. So let's see. Seven goes in one of these two. Let's see, in general, we need one. Um, one goes one of these three. We have two. We need a three. We don't know anything about threes, do we? Do we have any threes on the grid? I honestly don't see any threes on the grid. Okay. Um, we need fives. Just have these two fives on the grid. We need six, seven. We need, that's it. So it was what? One, three, five, six, seven. Okay, I don't think we're going to find much more up here. How about over here? There's four digits left in this box, so let's just fill that. We've got the twos. What else do we need? We need a three. We need five. Okay, I'm seeing fives up here. Um, and then there's one more. We need a nine. Yeah, this isn't nine either. So we have this three five and this three nine. Not quite good enough. I mean, everything's going to have three as an option if we don't have any threes on the grid. So we're going to have to find a naked single or something along those lines. Um, this column I noticed has three digits left. Uh, obviously, three is one of them. Uh, we need a one, we need a three, and we need a seven. OK, that unfortunately doesn't do anything. All right, I'm looking. Uh, OK, so let's just keep scanning. We got these fives. Five go here. Uh, I've got two twos. Um, I'm trying to find something interesting. <laughs> uh, I noticed that we have these two ones, so I may as well mark that. I also noticed the two fours and this four, so we can mark fours. Um, there's really just nothing going on over here. Like this column's almost full, and then these are practically empty. We do have the two twos, so we can mark that. And then we should have the eights as well. Yeah, eights are up here. And that's really all we can do. Um, I noticed this box has only four digits left. We need a three, obviously. We need a five, eight, nine. OK, so the nine is placed and the eight. OK. So this can't be five because we have this three five pair. So the remaining digits in this column are one, six, and seven. So this can only be seven, actually. Very nice. So the three five pair helped because it removed three from some places in this box. Um, so can we do more now that we, I don't think so. Let's just fill the rest of these candidates though, because there's four here and there's four here. So we need a one, three, five and seven here. These can't be seven. So seven goes here. We should remember that. And then these four are three, five, six, and nine. Hmm. It's a lot of penciling for not a whole lot of benefit. Maybe it'll come in handy later. I haven't missed any pencil marking goodnesses, have I? OK, so what else are we going to find? Um, I don't think I've finished this bottom band. Fours are over here. We have nines somewhere here. Um, 
what I'm hoping for is some kind of good crossing. Yeah, like the seven here. So sevens are sevens look down here and over here, and these aren't seven. So seven goes in one of these two. That does give us this three, this one, and this seven. It gives us the five and the three. It gives us this seven. Very nice. Um, this row is down to four digits. We need a one. Okay, so one is over here, and that's that's for the row. That's going to claim the rest of the box. So that's kind of nice. We'll follow up on that in a second. I don't want to stop in the middle of penciling. Uh, we need one, three, four, and nine. So the interesting thing to me here is this one over here. Um, so what does that do? I'm noticing I'm noticing this can't be one. So if we can't have ones here and we can't have ones here, and then these can't be one, then in this row, one is here. I don't think there's an equivalent. Oh, there is an equivalent for the box because one's over here as well. Uh, maybe I could have seen. Oh no, I didn't. I saw that at the same time because we placed this seven, and I'm pretty sure behind this seven was the opportunity to be a one. So the one became here as well. So you can see this for the box or the row, however you want to do it. But this is a one, which seems pretty nice. Um, can I follow up on ones at all? We have ones here, ones here, ones here. Really, just ones here. Okay, I don't think so. Um, sorry, I'm a little sniffly. Let's see. I'm tempted to look at this column. Um, this sees a lot of digits. Okay, let's do this row then. Maybe this row is helpful because we have one, two. We need three, uh, five, six, and nine. So now that we actually have some threes placed, we know the threes over here with the nine. This is not five or six for the column. Oh, so that's a three, nine pair. So that gives us the two. That's nice. Uh, does not place the two there because we have two places still. So other than the three nine, uh, what do we need? We need one, two, three, four, five. We need seven and eight, it looks like. And this can't be seven. So we have the eight and the seven. Okay, that places this eight. Um, this row needs three left. Uh, I'm looking to see if two is two two can be here. Uh, two, five, and seven. Uh, I'm not sure that did anything. I really want that to be a triple, but it's not. Um, okay. This has four left in the row, so let's just fill that. We need a two, four, six, and eight. That's only two, really? So it sees one. It's not going to see a two. Uh, where does it see a three? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yeah, so it's a naked single two. All right, that's a five. That gives us the seven, oops, the seven and the two. So this is not two eight. So this is a, um, this is a four six pair that places five in the box. Uh, four six pair places eight here. Now the two and the four are placed here. That's a three, five, and nine, okay. Um, things are really cleaning up now. Um, okay, good, I, I was really worried that I had Three, three, nines, but it's six, nine, and yeah, this is three, nine, and six. So right, I broke the puzzle, but I did not. Um, what does this need? Nine, it looks like. The box needs a three and seven. Okay, so it goes three, seven. Um, three or six here. What can be done over here? This. I'm actually just going to think about this box in general. Um, it needs a one, which can still be in any of these. It needs a three, which can be down here. Actually, the three must be here. This is a pair. Hold on. Let's let's not do that. Let's do this pair. This pair is three and nine. So now this is a triple. It's one, five and seven. So this cannot be the five, seven. So this is the one. This can't be seven, so it's five and seven. There we go. Okay. One, six, three. Yeah. Now I think we're just finishing. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't have to use geometry or a little bit of geometry. Uh, I used geometry when I got these claiming ones. I, I, I used it here, but not really. Um, relatively straightforward puzzle. Um, Four and nine, at least, 
least for me. Um, let me know how you did on this one. Um, I can't really like call out any special spots um, that stand out during the solve. So I guess it was just pretty pretty standard stuff. Um, it didn't. Maybe, maybe there were a couple naked singles I found, but they were always in like rows or columns that you'd want to mark up anyway. So it's not like I just suddenly like eagle eye spotted one that was a crazy naked single or anything. Um, it was nice to find this 3-5 pair. You could also have found the hidden 8-9 in here uh, if you had good eyes there with this 8-9 looking down. I just hadn't scanned vertically yet, and I found it by just going, oh, let's just fill these four. Um, so yeah, it seems like just filling restricted rows, columns, and boxes, and maybe perhaps noticing the claiming ones here, maybe noticing, like, I placed the 7 here at some point, which did remove the 1. Like, I remember until the 7 was placed, the 1 could be in these 3. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. It seems like it just built off of itself. Anyway, I'm trying to do analysis here, but I don't really have much for you, so I'm sorry. Um, I hope you did enjoy this, and if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.